Thank you so much for tuning in today guys. My name is Kim, this is Kim's Beauty Basics. Welcome to my channel. Today I have an exciting review of a hidden gem in the drugstore that you may not have heard about from Hard Candy. So I'm gonna be reviewing a product today that I think is a dupe for a high-end version of this and I'll mention it later in the video. I already have this on my face, so spoiler alert there. You'll see a complete review and app, so you will see the complete application and review of this product. So stay tuned for that, it's coming right up. If you would, I would love it if you like this video because it helps me out so much. That's pretty much all I got to say guys. Let's get right into this review of this amazing product. Okay guys, so let's get right into this review. The product that I will be reviewing today is from Hard Candy. It's their Metal Glaze, which is a 12 hour intense liquid foil. And then I have the shade 1284 or burgundy. The thing that caught my eye about this product is that it says it can be used on the brows, lids, and on your lips. So it's a multi-use product. This is the picture of the brows that they show on the packaging and I just don't think that really catches my eye. But the lids and lips sound very intriguing to me. It kind of reminds me of the Stila Shimmer and Glows which came out recently I think in December or November which are a version of their glitter and glow eyeshadows but instead of having the glitter it has more of a shimmer to it. So because of that, I was like, I wonder if there's a dupe out there for that. And I saw some reviews on the ColourPop Cosmetics liquid shadow over the break, but I noticed some people didn't really like how it dried down and you could kind of just like rub it off and it wasn't that long wearing. And then I saw this in the drugstore and so it's super cheap. It's $5 US. I purchased mine in Canada, obviously, because I'm in Canada and I got it from Walmart for $6.98. I believe hard candy for us is only available in Walmart, but if it's available in other stores, it'll probably be in there. So in comparison to the Stila Shimmer and Glow Shadows, um, the Stila is $24 US or $31 Canadian, and you get 0.153 fluid ounces, and in this one you get 0.14, so very comparable, very close in the amount of product you get, even though the bottle looks a little bit bigger in this. Despite it being in the packaging right now, I have tested it out on the lips and on the eyes the past couple days. I actually wore it in one of my videos, but I didn't list it as one of the products because I didn't want to give it away. So, sorry about that. Also, for the hard candy, I just looked on their website and there are other colors. And the colors that I can see online are, is there's a silver color, there is a gold color, which almost looks a little bit yellow. It's like a really, really like yellowy gold. And then we have this burgundy color, and then there's also like a copper shade, which is like a copper, a lighter penny color. But to be different, I did grab the burgundy color and I thought it was really pretty. It looks a little bit lighter in these pictures though, I'll say, and when we apply it, you'll see it's a little bit darker than this. So I'll just show you what it looks like. Obviously, it's just in this tube, kind of looks like a mascara, honestly. And then it just has a small doe foot applicator and pretty much it. So this is a swatch I did about five minutes ago and I'm just gonna swatch next to it just so you can see what it looks like when it's applied and then comparing it to when it dries. So as you can see, it's very opaque right away and obviously a little bit wet, but not too wet. And then it dries down very, very fast. Once it's dried down, it is going to stay put. When the wet one just wiped away and the one that was swatched earlier about five minutes ago has dried down and it's not budging. So that's awesome. But let's zoom in and apply this product. All right, guys, we are ready to apply. So I've obviously done my full face of makeup. I actually mixed in a foundation you might not expect, guys. I mixed a little bit of our $1 Shop Miss A foundation, the one that was really, really dark for me. I mixed that in with my Milani foundation, and I really love how it kind of contoured my face. On the eyes, I basically used my Tarte Shape Tape to prep, and then I set it with powder. All the eyeshadow that I used in the video is from this Smashbox Shape Matters palette. Basically just a neutral palette here. Anyway, we're ready to apply, so I'm excited to use this. I have used it before, so I know a little bit. So obviously it has a doe foot applicator. So what you want to do, I've kind of carved out where I want to place the shadow. I applied a little bit more of my concealer up here. So I'm just going to apply it to the lid, basically in all the areas that were missing. Shadow. Kind of nice that the doe foot applicator is small. Before it dries, I'm just going to use uh, the Sephora angled brush just to blend out the edges and smooth them out. Make sure everything dries down properly. Just give it a little pat all over the lid. So that's one coat of the liquid glaze, guys. It doesn't look too metallic yet, but don't worry. This color builds up. You can layer this on. It is quite pigmented. Obviously, you can build up the color even more. It's not patchy. But let's go in with another coat. 
Going back in with that angled brush now. Blending out the edges slightly. This time I'm pulling it out on the corner of my eye a little bit farther to blend it even further. See how easy that is guys? I'm just gonna let it dry, but it's so easy to use and it really does pack a punch for color. This does claim 12 hour wear. I don't really know about the 12 hour wear, wear but as you saw on the swatches, it does not come off from rubbing. I think that's pretty much dried down. So you do get a really nice metallic look with that. And I just love the color. It's such a nice color. So we're gonna do the other eye on camera because I really just love this product and I just wanna show you. So let's do the same thing we did to the other eye. See how easy that is? It's so easy, I love it, I love it. And I'm gonna do my second uh, layer right away. I even think this color would be awesome for Valentine's Day, like I think it's so cute, guys. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go off camera and just apply my liner, mascara, and lashes. If you are interested in how I do my eyeliner, then just go watch my recent video on how not to suck at eyeliner because that is for you if you're not too sure about eyeliner. So check that out. I'm gonna go do that off camera and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. Hey guys, surprise, my eyes have changed colors. Just kidding. I'm wearing my contacts from TTDI. I have done a review on them. I'll put a link in the description box to the video just so you can see. But obviously lashes, liner, mascara is all applied and it makes a huge difference, but I still love I love this color. This color is amazing. After applying all this, I kind of just thought, why not apply a little bit more? So I'm gonna take a little and put it underneath my eye. All right, so we're gonna go in with more. Obviously, I'm not gonna go right in with the Stoflet applicator. I am gonna take the angle brush that we were using to blend and just take a little bit off of the Doflet applicator. And I'm basically just gonna do the inner part of the eye. I'm not gonna go all the way around, but just this inner bottom lash line I'm gonna do. I love how that little pop of color adds like a little bit of like cohesiveness to the look. So let's do the lips now, guys. I've prepped with my lip balm. It's the Milani Keep It Smooth Luxe Lip Treatment. So that's already applied to my lips and has been soaking in pretty much the whole time we've been doing our eyes. What I am gonna apply to make this a little bit cleaner though is a, a lip liner. And I think this is a great idea for any liquid lip. It just adds a little bit of like cleanness to the look because it's hard to be really precise with the doe foot applicator. What we're using is a Night Moth by MAC, which is a really rich, dark purple color. Okay, I think that's it for lip liner. I think I've gone a little crazy already. We're gonna go in with this burgundy liquid foil from Hard Candy now and top the lips because that is what it is for. So very pigmented, like one swipe or good. And this is all with one swipe guys. I haven't gone back into the product at all. I need to go over a couple of different spots, but like, can you see how pigmented this is? That lip liner was so dark and it's blended the edges so well. Okay guys, this is the finished lip look. I love this. Mixed with this lip liner, I think this color is so cool. It doesn't feel drying on the lips. It feels really comfortable. It's like already not transferring on my finger. It's so good. Like go and buy this. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I, especially this color. I can't guarantee that the other colors will be all the same, but I think this color is amazing and I just love the formula of this. Okay guys, I think you kind of know what I'm thinking about this. I had to zoom out just to show you the overall look. I love this. Can I tell you how much I love this? I think this would be such a cool topper on different lip colors. Like obviously the Night Moth that we applied as a lip liner has affected the color, but I love that about it. I think that it made it like a really vampy color. I think this it just transforms with whatever you put it under it. For shadow, I didn't put anything under it and I love the color itself as well. It doesn't transfer once it dries down, it's gonna stay put. So that's what I really, really love about the formula. Lips feel great. They don't feel too dry, crackly. I think the metallic lip trend is still going and it wasn't a big thing for me, but I just love this color. $5 American, like, can you beat that guy? If you haven't bought the shimmers and glow and you were kind of interested and in thinking about it, then I say go buy this first try out this formula. You'll love it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you go out and purchase this product. I think it is amazing. All of the makeup products that I wore in this video will be listed down below, and I will link the videos that I 
spoke about previously down below as well. If you could, I would love it if you like this video because it helped me out so much. And then if you also would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, that would help me out a ton as well. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned a little something and I think I found a hidden gem in the drugstore. So you're welcome. Just kidding. If you would like to follow me on social media, I will put my handles here, but there will be links down below to follow me. I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world, and I hope to see you very, very soon in my next video.